Oh god, it just This is Dr. Catherine Collins. I don't know if anyone will ever hear this. It's all over. I'm the only one left. I fell in love with this game almost a year and a half ago. I only saw screenshots of it and I thought, well, I'll just give it a try. And, uh, I got it and I started playing it. Um, it's pretty much like, uh, trying to figure out what had happened to everybody in this, uh, community kind of thing. And, uh, it's pretty much like an exploratory game. Um, get achievements and stuff like that. But uh, I really enjoyed the music and the storyline and the graphics are beautiful. Um, but if you have like a PS4, I'd recommend it. it, it just for like a relaxing game to play. You know, take a break out of Fortnite or whatever it is you play these days. I don't play them. But, um, yeah, you just go around finding clues and stuff. I'm going to continue to broadcast for as long as I'm able. If I'm right, you should be able to pick up the signal right across the valley. The event has left markers. We don't understand it yet. We're going to keep working to try and understand it. You can use them to find what you're looking for. The answers... They're all here. The answers are in the light. Okay, anyway, sorry, I was talking. Um, let me turn on things. And you can't run, that's one of the bad things about this game. You, you can't run, you have to walk. Walk everywhere. But yeah, like I said, it's a really nice relaxing game if you want to just, uh, play to play. This is a special announcement by the Emergency Measures Committee. Due to exceptional circumstances, radio and television in this area has been brought under the control of the EMC as per the Crisis Preparedness and Action Bill of 1982. Keep your radio and television on at all times. Stay indoors and avoid contact with other people. Do not attempt to telephone outside your local area. <laughs> Do like not me. panic and remain civil and calm. <laughs> Quarantine <tuned> my ass. <laughs> <for updates. laughs> it hurts. <laughs> I'm so sick they should quarantine me. <laughs> oh well. This is me the wishful thinking. Whee! I'm trying to do my job. 
You two will be the only staff on site for this rotation. I'm just saying, if the main gate's power fails, then there's no way in or out of the observatory. That's why there are backup generators. Jesus, why the hell are we even discussing this? Just don't you come running to me if you get locked in. If we get locked in, we won't be able to come running to you, will we? You let us worry about the clever stuff, and you can concentrate on sweeping up leaves and changing light bulbs. Happy? Now piss off. Ah, so. That was unnecessary. Just because you're angry with me doesn't mean you have to take it out on everyone else. Okay, can we just talk about this? No, Stephen, I'm done. I just want to get out of this place, and tonight is our best chance of doing that. You prep the arrays, I'm heading up to Tower 6. Kate. I love you. You know that, right? Yeah, I know that. Come on, let's get started. So like I said, you just find the, um, story. Just trying to put pieces together, and it took me a while, but I unlocked everything. Um, there's a lot to it. So it's not like it's the run in the mill. You get different endings. Just depends on how you want to play this. Like, you got open endings, you got, uh, if you complete everybody's, uh, storyline. Like, Jeremy's is in this town. You can find all his story. Then, you know, you get achievements. It's a pretty much a wide open exploratory, except for some places are blocked out because of the quarantine area. So I'm just gonna play this for a little while. And then I might play Bendy in the Ink Machine. Well, I suppose from that we can assume that they really I'm are kidding. serious about this whole quarantine thing. If Mrs. Boughton wandered off that way before they closed the road, I suspect we'll never find her. Not until this whole thing blows over. Well, it's more than a little odd. I mean, Mrs. Yorton, for goodness sake. There is no need for them to be so rude. Well, if they are so concerned that they are willing to close off the roads, I suspect they would argue that there is yeah. no need. What is certain is that for the time being, none of us are going anywhere. But he had a rifle, a soldier with a rifle, in Shropshire. Oh. The world's gone stark raving hmm. mad. I've a good mind to Sorry. go to my MP. Allergy. You do that, Barb, and I'll personally deliver it for you, once this blockade is removed anyway. Come on, Barb. I can't spend all day chasing pensioners around the valley. The surgery won't open itself. I need to grab some paracetamol when we get back as well. Fucking headache all of a sudden. You think you'd be able to run or do some weird shit in this game, but uh, nah. <laughs> the telly's ringing. We get to go edit the telly. Who's that? Hello? Kate, if you can hear this, you need to shut down the optical array. It's using the observatory as a conduit to reach us, and it started spreading its range beyond the valley. Kate, we can't afford to let it do that. It's getting stronger. I'm going to call Clive back, and I'm going to force him to order the strike. I just don't see what other choice we have. God knows Clive, if can you hear me? We need help. Who are you? Jesus, get off the floor! Get off the floor! Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, so I might play something scary. Scary. I love scary games. But yeah. 
If there's games that you guys want me to play, or at least try to play, uh, just let me know in the comments. Or through Discord. Don't be or so hard on however you can contact me. You haven't. Oh, come on. We'll look at the figures, tighten up the data, and resubmit. Your core idea is sound. You just got the numbers slightly wrong. Don't patronize me. I'm not patronizing you. I think you are a brilliant man, Dr. Appleton. Listen. I'm here, right? We're together, you and me. The alignment event tomorrow. It's yours, okay? You saw the opportunity, you ran the numbers. Even if they can't see it. I'm proud of you. Is that supposed to make me feel better? See you then. Look on the bright side. I'm around here? <laughs> You're a hero. Prodigal son returns, right? <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't erected a statue mm, in your honor cold. yet. <laughs> oh, you can laugh all you want. But I'll bet the parish council have a subcommittee working on that right now. <laughs> Oh, hey, Jin. Sorry if I can't, like, stop and stop talking. Uh, I got allergies, so I'm trying to take care of that at the same time. Kind of sucks. of high school <laughs> seeing Mars for the first time that same rush of excitement <laughs> my hands are shaking <sighs> but yeah I just really thought it was well done the graphics are really nice the music's really nice I, you know not a lot of people like these kind of games but uh I kind of enjoyed them I might go get my bowl of fruit. Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> I like this. You know, they uh, see me as an outsider here as well. Is that supposed to make me feel any better? You know, I understand it's difficult. That's all I'm saying. Your lot up at... Valis have never mixed with the local community. People here, they don't really understand what you do up there. Are you trying to get me to come to your church? It's not just about faith. It's about the community. Be involved. Be seen as part of it. One of them. <laughs> Good morning, Father. Lovely day. Oh, hello. Uh, Mrs. Appleton, isn't it? It's Dr. Collins. Lady scientist. Whatever next. Good morning, Barbara. <laughs> Father, we let you really think that's a community that will ever see me as one of them? I can live with them staring at me. They just stay out of my way. Ow. 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 Sorry. Ow. My stomach's in pain right now. Sorry. If I kind of spat out. Just a little bit. But, um, yeah, one of the achievements is trying to find all these, uh, keep looking, radios. But it makes no sense. Pain the butt. The area we picked the it took me, like, two weeks to no find them all. Be located on the scope. That's just <laughs> not possible. You can see significant changes to the quality of the ambient light in that part of the sky. It's overexposed. Like a Polaroid left in direct sunlight. Ah. <sighs> But yeah, I have the soundtrack on uh, one of my Spotify playlists. 
It's really nice. Um, it's for when my anxiety gets out of hand. <laughs> The other uh, achievement was finding the you are here signs because they're all over the place so you have to like look for them and some signs don't even tell you that they're for that so it kind of sucks. Benjamin, Georgie, leave it alone. It might have fleas. Hello, Amanda. What are they up to? Oh, they found another dead bird. I do wish the council would clean them up. Well, apparently they're saying it's a flu epidemic. And I gather they'll be closing the roads and stations. So they're worried enough for that. Oh, for goodness sake. Well, you don't mess about with the flu outbreak, I suppose. But look, I'm just saying, if you were planning on taking the kids to Wales, now might be the time to do it. Well, thanks, Barbara. I have a word with Neil, see what he thinks. Now, George, Benjamin, for God's sake, leave it alone. Yeah, it, it, it runs really smooth, you know, the game and such. Um, a lot of the doors and stuff are locked, but that's just part of the game, so. But if you want to take the time to, you know, wander about and unlock everybody's story to understand the whole game as a whole, and I recommend this game. <laughs> is everything all right? Get out of my way. Where's Kate? Where do you think she is? Stephen, what's going on? Screw Kate. It's all her fault anyway. What's that mark on your face? Stephen. Stephen! Oh, yeah, and as you progress to someone else's storyline, the uh, weather and the time changes, too, as well. Like, right now, it's, like, midday. And the next one would be like afternoon. It's it's really cool how the scenery changes. all the roads and you can't get through and and then George and Ben said they had headaches and then they started bleeding and but it was horrible they were so scared so Neil turned the car around and um we saw the house was open and I know we shouldn't have but we just came in to clean up the kids and and then Neil and I started bleeding as well and it's all over my blouse. Everyone was so tired. It's all right, Amanda. Everything will be all right. Just try and calm down and tell me where Neil and the children are. Uh, yeah, technically I am. Um, just kind of showing off the game a little they were tired bit. And but, uh, so could take a nap in the bed. Just kind of relaxing at the moment the before I figure out whether the game. Children. Oh, sorry. I was going to play Bendy. And then I was so tired, so Neil took Jump them scare up. Game. Took them upstairs to Might do that, though. If not, then I'll probably play. Um, Something else. I'm not sure what yet, but oh, once I do, I might pop back up and do Maybe another couple videos. Down. Trying to make up for lost time here. <laughs> I haven't done playthroughs in months together? since I've been so sick. I can hold your hand if you like. <laughs> yeah. I think I could manage that, yes. Will you please help me? Of course, I'll help you. Neil? 
Neil, are you there? And no one's here. Oh, you're gonna make me play that game? <laughs> Someone tried making me play Fortnite the other day. I was like, ah. <laughs> and then it was Overwatch, like a month before, and then now you want me to play Apex. Okay. We should totally play Minecraft. I'm just saying. <laughs> Doing? I, saw you. I saw you doing that. Stay away from me. Don't come near me. This is people's property. You're scaring them. It's all over the village. It's got into everything. It's so fast. What are you talking about? It's traveling down the wires. Dear God, when you've lost your mind. Where is Kate? What have you done with her? Don't you understand? It's breaching the quarantine and adapting. Give me that bloody can. Hand it over, Appleton. No, get off. No, it's Sam stopping. You weedy little shit. Uh, it's a guy. Grow up! That is the more game. Starting to manifest itself everywhere. Stephen, come back! Oh Christ! Station. That's shut down too. So there's no way in or out of the valley. They're obviously serious about this flu thing. Phil doesn't think it's flu at all. He said he's been practicing medicine for 30 years and he's seen plenty of flu and he said this doesn't feel right at all. Well, there's nothing of any use on the radio. Sorry I'm late, everyone. Have you started? Yes, but to be honest, there's not really that much to discuss. This quarantine is in place. There's roadblocks and everything. No one really seems to know anything, but people are definitely missing. More of them, too, not just a couple of old biddies. No one's seen the Sullivan since yesterday, and the house is just sitting there unlocked. I've just got back from the farm. All of Frank's cows died in the night. He's devastated. Poor man. Hasn't he had enough for one year? First Mary, and now this. Well, if no one's coming in to sort this mess out, we're just going to have to do it ourselves. Uh, Barbara, get Phil to do a stock take on medication. Jeremy, put the word out for people to congregate at the village hall. It's best we get everyone in one place for the time being. Good. I'll organize supplies. We'll have a lot of hungry mouths to feed. There's plenty at the depot, but well, let's start with what's here in the village. I'll draw up a rotor. Charlie, you help me with that? Anything for you, Meg? I'll head out into the valley and scoop up the ice. Yeah, like when I first played it, I get like so confused. Like, okay. Or or <laughs> or his wife. So you have to like go through everybody's section to understand what's going on it's in pieces so you're not going to get it all in one shot until you make it to the end of the game and then you just go oh that makes sense ah. <laughs> ah. Sorry, hang on. So like I said, it's like, if you really want to have a relaxing game just to mess around with, this would be one of those games. I couldn't stop it. I couldn't do anything. Stop, stop it. Calm down. <laughs> I'll get back. It's in my head. Howard, wait. Ah! Oh. Ah! Father. Father, are you all right? It's my ankle. Oh, Jesus, Lord, I think it's broken. Uh, Howard, go and get help. 
There's no one left. No one's coming to help us. Please, Howard, fetch help. The light. There in the light. I can see everyone in the light. <laughs> the light, man. <laughs> Some crazy stuff. <laughs> it doesn't even reach the back fence, silly old bugger. Well, Ouch. loaves and fishes we can manage, Father but garden Jeremy, design is a little beyond. Might I have a word? Mrs. Boyles, of course. Meg, will you excuse us, please? I'll uh, see you back at Charlie's later. Cheerio, Wendy. I was speaking to Barbara. She said there were some irregularities about Mary's morphine. Good grief. I mean, those are private medical records. Barbara should know better than to be discussing that sort of thing with you. If Dr. Wade finds out, he'll have no choice but to suspend her. Damn it, Wendy! Your brother is grieving. Mary was sick for a long time, and I'm glad it's over for her. Go and support Frank. He needs you now. God knows what you did. He sees. I just pray you can overlook Mary's weakness, but you, a man of the cloth, if you, have an issue you with bring shame on this parish. If you have an issue with me, I suggest you write to the Bishop of the Diocese. I have parishioners to attend to. Excuse me. Mm. You're spicy here. <laughs> you're a yellow battle lady. <laughs> to you. Well, I really don't see what it has to do with me at all. The village looks up to you. I just think with what's been happening with Mr. Coles and Mrs. Bowden and the others, people need somewhere to talk, to feel safe. Perhaps they don't think that your church is somewhere they feel particularly safe. I don't need your forgiveness, Wendy. Or theirs. Whosoever thou art that judgest, for wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself. Romans chapter 2, verse 1. Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them. Matthew chapter 6, verse 1. It's not my judgment you should be worried about, Father. But fine. I'll talk to Barbara. Ask her to put a note up in the surgery about an extra service. Will that do? Oh, that little ball of light you see, it'll tell you uh, which direction to go. It's kind of like your wayfinder. You get lost. Just saying. <laughs> Europe somewhere? Dad, come and have a look at this. Oh, I don't believe it. Charlie? Jeremy reckons someone had been raiding all the empty houses. He said a load of stuff had been taken. What's up? It looks like someone's been collecting their own supplies. Bastard. Well, we've got enough stock in the warehouse to keep the entire village going for months. We should get a truck. What, and go and get all of it now? Yeah, why not? It's Appleton. 
It's that bloody crackpot Stephen Appleton. I'm gonna fucking do him. Sam, it's mm. fine. We better get moving before the weather turns. You come in. We'll swing by the camp and get Rachel on the way back. Okie dokie, Smokey. Duh. I saw you from the main road. Not many people are moving around now. I was looking for Dr. Wade. Listen, Frank. I don't know what's happened, but your Stephen seems to think he's responsible. I reckon he is. He said, uh, Kate's still up at the observatory, but the gates are locked. Frank, there's gonna be a rescue soon, I'm sure of it. They'll send planes or something. Well, they'll send planes, all right. This pattern of his, we're in the center of it. Which means if they intend to stop it, we're right in the firing line. Here you are. There's a queue of patients a mile long out there. Just send them to the village hall with the others, please, Bob. Doctor, people are scared. Mrs. Gables just called me and said her husband's vanished. She was very frightened. She said there was blood coming up from his ears and his what nose... What the hell do you want me to do? Until they lift the quarantine, we're not going anywhere. Just tell them to drink plenty of fluids, stay warm, and follow the instructions on the radio. Doctor, Phil, please, you have a duty to your patient.
have to make a decision, Lizzie. Especially now. I do love him, Father. I... I love him both. He's married. There are other people involved in this. Oh, I hardly think that anyone's in the position to claim the moral high ground, do you? Well, I take your point about Stephen. And Robert. But I, I think Kate might see things differently. Do you? I mean, she's not screwing anyone else, pardon my French, but she spends all day and night locked up in that observatory. Stephen says they barely see each other. That's hardly a marriage, is it? Are you there? Look, can you hear me? Are, are you out there, you bastard? You got them all? Uh, you got them all? still here then. I should have expected that. Come on then. Let's get this over and done with. I've got my parishioners to attend to. Their line has gone out through all the earth. And their words to the end of the world. In them, hath he set a tabernacle for the sun. Our oh, Father. 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And that's the end of Jeremy's storyline. Um, next you will be hitting Mary's after you follow these lights out into the forest. And once you go out into the forest, which I'll do my next playthrough maybe tomorrow of this. But uh, yeah, so once you complete it, usually you have to follow these beams of light to the next storyline. But um, yeah, this is the game. Really nice game. Um, if you're interested, check it out. It's everybody's song of the rapture. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.